Okay, so I'm going to start out by using some of this dry chitosan lactate. Um, we administer this through a cartridge. Um, it's kind of a, a sock-like cartridge that the, the water will flow through. And I'm just going to take a little pinch of this, and uh, this is actually what we're pre-treating with. So I'm just going to take a little more. And then, so this would be like the pre-treatment pro process. I'm stir this for a little while and try and get it all dissolved in there. And you can already start to see, even when I'm moving it this fast, you can start to see the water flock or the uh, dirt flock out. Can you actually pull the stirrer out of the shot? It's nice and easy. And so, in a pre treat situation, you let that settle out. And in this case, we, you still see some sediment in the upper water. And we'd hit that with a small amount of chitosan acetate, which I'll do now. And then it would go to the filter, and the filter would filter out the rest of that dirt and the chitosan that's in the dirt. So three drops of the 2% acetate would be about three parts per million. And you can see in combination the lactate and the acetate work even better. Again, that's the uh, basically the chemistry aspect of it. Um, you know, it sounds like I, you know I don't even know. It's been a while since I took any chemistry. About three years. Talk about the um, the sand filtration of sediment with the clean water being discharged. Okay, so in in our filters after this had been treat, pre-treated, um, we would take this to our filters um, and the filters would pull out or the filters are full of sand, garnet and gravel and the filters would pull the water through and the sand would catch all of this sediment and then um, depending on the situation, uh, the pressure, things like that, uh, we'd, uh, we'd back flush this periodically and all of this sediment would be blown back out out of the filter to keep the filter clean so that we can continue to do this for long periods of time. 